May I now invite Mr. P. M. C. Dorji, Deputy Permanent Representative of the Kingdom of Bhutan, to the Rossum to deliver his statement. Venerable monks, Madam Vice President, distinguished coaches, excellencies, distinguished guests, I wish to firstly convey on behalf of my government our deepest condolences to the victims of the devastating floods and landslides in Sri Lanka. We express our support and solidarity with the people and government of Sri Lanka during this difficult period. We meet today to observe the sacred day of Vesak, a day of tremendous significance for millions of Buddhists all over the world, to commemorate the birth, enlightenment, and Parinirvana of Lord Buddha, an extraordinary person who discovered a way of achieving true wisdom, compassion, and freedom. Through his own efforts, he attained enlightenment and liberation from suffering. On this auspicious day, I have the honor to convey the warm greetings and good wishes of His Majesty the King, the Royal Government, and people of Bhutan. I thank His Excellency Ambassador Rohan Pereira of Sri Lanka and His Excellency Ambassador Virachai Plasai of Thailand and their staff for so ably organizing this year's Vesak Day celebrations as they have done so in previous years. The significance of Vesak lies with the Buddha and his universal message of peace and compassion for all sentient beings. We may observe the day of Vesak differently in our own traditional ways, but we are bound together by the common aspiration of peace and happiness for all sentient beings. Today, despite rapid modernization and progress, peace and happiness remain elusive in many societies. Indeed, we are reminded every day of the pain and suffering of millions around the world. Overcoming global challenges to peace and happiness requires a fundamental transformation of human consciousness. And therein we find the universality of the Buddha's teachings. The International Day of Vesak provides an opportunity to reflect on the profound and virtuous teachings of Lord Buddha. Timeless teachings that has endured for over 2,500 years. Teachings that appeal to reason, freedom of thought and expression and compassion. Equality, fraternity and understanding. <clears throat> the interdependence of all sentient beings. That the happiness of one depends on that of the other. That peace and contentment can thrive and flourish in a world defined by compassion, nonviolence, goodwill, and love for all sentient beings. These teachings are universal and resonate strongly with the central role of the United Nations. They continue to inspire us to work for the common good. In closing, as we rededicate ourselves to the Triple Gem, the Buddha, the Dharma, and the Sangha, I would like to end with a prayer for the happiness and well-being of all sentient beings. Semche Thamche Dewadang Devi Judang Dempar Juchi Semche Thamche Dungyeldang Dungyelgi Judang Delwa Juchi Semche Thamche Dungyel Mepi Dewadang Nidelwar Juchi Semche Thamche Dedugi Juchakdang Nirindang 
Delwa Tangyom Chenpola, Nyuringdu, Nepar Jurchi. May all sentient beings enjoy happiness and the causes of happiness. May they all be free from suffering and the causes of suffering. May they all never be separated from the great happiness devoid of suffering. May they all dwell in the great equanimity that is free from attachment and aversion. Thank you and